have my little lantern here. Here it is. A winter storm is on the way, and this time, Liz Ellison is ready. Last time I burned candles, but this is so much more efficient. (laughs) She was one of the many Central Texans who lost power during the January 10th snowstorm. I wore two thick sweaters, and then I wore three pairs of socks and a pair of boots, just to keep warm, because the cold was beginning to creep into the house. Blackouts during winter weather are common. There is a really good chance that your power has been out sometime this morning and still a good chance that it's gonna happen again. In 2011, a record-breaking freeze hit the state, pushing the power grid to its limits. This causes the state to enact rotating outages, where power is shut off in parts of the system until enough power is generated to restore power to everyone. So here in Austin, those blackouts are lasting about 30 to 45 minutes. ERCOT, the state agency in charge of the power grid, declined an interview, but told KXAN in a statement that they have advised energy generators to prepare for this week's freeze including reviewing available fuel and weatherization equipment. If rotating outages are needed, ERCOT will be the ones that make the call. But what about power outages on a local level? When we're dealing with things like high winds or ice or heavy snow, things that we don't normally deal with, those can weigh down tree limbs. When they get weighed down, sometimes we'll fall on power lines. Austin Energy says a broken power line could cause an outage for one home or a dozen. It depends on which line breaks. One house on one side of the street can be on one circuit, but if it falls just so and it cuts the other side of the street, it could be on a different circuit. The city does provide notifications that alert you to outages in your area and when they'll be restored, but... During a large storm event, we'll turn off those estimated restoration times. On January 10th, Liz and her neighbors went without power for eight hours and say they weren't notified about repairs. She says the incident changed the way she looks at outages. It's like one of my neighbors put it. She said, you just don't realize how much you need electricity until it's all until it's gone. 